The prevailing belief among most scientists is that the theories regarding the universe's origins continue to be the primary explanation for the universe's early stages. This theory connects the formation of stars and planets, which eventually led to the development of life, including humanity itself. Despite its peculiar name, the Big Bang offers a detailed insight into what might have happened at the universe's inception. Initially, the universe was concentrated in an incredibly small space, much smaller than a pinhead with particles densely packed. From this compact state, a massive release of energy and matter, referred to as the Big Bang, occurred. This cataclysmic event, which took place billions of years ago, set the universe's expansive history in motion. However, as scientific knowledge progresses, discrepancies have emerged, challenging the assumptions of this theory. When NASA launched the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, the most advanced and largest space observatory ever created, experts expected its observations would confirm the Big Bang Theory. Yet, within just one year of operation, the telescope astonished scientists with its unprecedented ability to peer into the distant past of the universe. The JWST's incredible capabilities have revealed galaxies dating back to a period so ancient that it challenges our understanding of the universe's beginnings. This revelation has sparked a wave of discussion about the potential existence of matter before the Big Bang. One particularly significant breakthrough occurred when cosmologist Rohan Natu, analyzing data from the telescope, discovered a galaxy from shortly after the Big Bang, marking it as the farthest galaxy observed to date. This discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community, emphasizing the astonishing abilities of the James Webb Telescope. The massive potential of the telescope to reshape our understanding of the cosmos is just beginning to be realized, with promising revelations about the universe's earliest stages. This time period, which is loosely connected to prior cosmic history, holds the key to understanding the emergence of the first stars and galaxies. The discoveries made by the JWST have contradicted established theories, unveiling galaxies with characteristics that defy previous expectations. This surge of early galaxies has ignited a frenzy of scientific inquiry, pushing experts to reconcile these new findings with existing theories. As scientists continue to explore these revelations, they face fundamental questions about the very nature of the universe and the forces that guided its evolution. Beyond the clear advantages of the JWST, it is strategically located 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, shielded from interference and cooled to nearly absolute zero by its tennis court-sized sunshield. The telescope is equipped with a vast primary mirror and incredibly sensitive instruments, specifically designed to uncover secrets about the early universe that were previously hidden. This early cosmic period, known as the Great Dawn, took place approximately 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang, marking the moment when the first stars and galaxies began to form. The process by which this unfolded remains an intense subject of research, with various theories being proposed, such as the roles of dark matter and dark energy, or the interactions between star-forming gas and dust. The JWST's ability to observe galaxies from this era presents a unique opportunity for cosmologists to test existing models of the universe. By analyzing these ancient galaxies, scientists can either validate current models or identify gaps in our understanding that could lead to groundbreaking discoveries. Initially, the JWST was expected to detect only a handful of faint, small galaxies during its early studies. However, the reality far exceeded these expectations. The telescope's first images of the distant universe revealed an abundance of galaxies with diverse ages, sizes, and luminosities far surpassing previous predictions. This unexpected flood of early galaxies has set off a race among space experts to redefine the records for the earliest known massive systems. New findings are emerging constantly, leaving even seasoned scientists in awe. Following the JWST's discoveries, both experts and the public have been eager to analyze the presence of these highly advanced early galaxies. Some theorists suggest that errors in how the telescope interprets large-scale observations might account for these astonishing findings. However, the consensus remains that these revelations represent a paradigm shift in how we perceive the early universe and provide an exciting glimpse into the potential for profound change in our understanding. The recent discoveries about early galaxies, made possible by the JWST, have raised significant questions about the universe's nature 
and challenged the assumptions of traditional cosmological models. While some experts are exploring whether these findings can be integrated into existing theories, others propose that these revelations might be the first signs of a universe that is far more complex and enigmatic than previously imagined. The critical question remains how the universe we know today emerged from the chaotic turmoil of its early stages. The JWST's early discoveries could dramatically reshape our understanding of the Big Bang and offer new insights not only into distant galaxies and ancient cosmic structures, but also into the very makeup of our own Milky Way galaxy. As Mark McFadden, Senior Scientist for Science and Exploration at the European Space Agency, aptly stated, you build these machines not to confirm theories but to break them. You simply have no clue how it will break. The origins of the JWST date back to 1985 at the Space Telescope Science Institute, STSCI, long before the launch of the Hubble Space Telescope. At that time, G. Weir, then the head of STSCI, was tasked with imagining what could come after Hubble. Despite initial doubts, Weir and a small team began laying the groundwork for what would eventually become the James Webb Space Telescope. Unlike Hubble, which primarily observes visible light, the JWST was designed to observe in the infrared spectrum, allowing it to peer deeper into the universe. This infrared capability is crucial for studying distant galaxies, whose light has been stretched into the infrared due to the universe's expansion, making them invisible to telescopes like Hubble. With its large, cold, star-like mirror, the JWST became an essential tool for unlocking the mysteries of the Great Dawn. The necessity for the JWST became clear in 1995, when the Hubble Deep Field observation revealed a vast number of galaxies in a previously thought empty patch of sky. This discovery showcased the richness of the early universe and highlighted the need for a more powerful telescope capable of observing even further back in time. After years of development and an investment of around $1 billion, the JWST was launched on December 25, 2021. By July 2022, it was ready to begin its most critical year of scientific observations. Programs like the Early Release Science, ERS, and the General Observing Program were specifically designed to search for early galaxies. While initial expectations were modest, the results far exceeded them. The JWST's observations have tested existing models of the early universe, revealing galaxies that challenge conventional cosmological assumptions. These extraordinary discoveries emphasize the importance of pushing the limits of scientific exploration and highlight the remarkable capabilities of advanced technologies like the James Webb Space Telescope. As researchers continue to analyze the data collected by the JWST, new insights may emerge that challenge and broaden our understanding of the universe. When the first data from the JWST began arriving, cosmologists eagerly awaited the results. Many scientists had been preparing their data analysis systems for this moment for years. Instead of following the traditional peer review process, which can take months, researchers opted to share their findings on preprint servers like AR14, where papers can be publicly accessed before peer review. This approach facilitated rapid feedback and discussions via online platforms like Twitter, where established scientists could quickly engage in dialogue about the findings. Rohan Natu described this new process as science by press release, and the subsequent surge of conversation was both intense and unprecedented. However, there were concerns about the potential drawbacks of this swift dissemination of results. Klaus Pontypool, a JWST project scientist at STSCI, cautioned that while the rapid sharing of results enabled quick communication and discussion, it also posed the risk of overwhelming the scientific process. The accelerated spread of discoveries, especially in such a groundbreaking mission, introduced challenges to traditional scientific workflows. Nonetheless, the general consensus among most experts is that the theory explaining the origin of the universe remains the cornerstone for understanding the early universe's phases. This hypothesis involves the creation of stars, planets, and life on those planets, including human life. Despite its odd name, the Big Bang provides a coherent explanation for the universe's beginnings. At the onset, the universe was an incredibly dense point, smaller than a pinhead, filled with tightly packed particles. From this minuscule space, a massive release of matter and energy, known as the Big Bang, erupted. This colossal event, occurring billions of years ago, set the course for the unfolding history of the universe. However, 
as scientific knowledge progresses, inconsistencies in this theory are emerging, challenging previous assumptions. When NASA launched the James Webb Space Telescope, the largest and most advanced space observatory ever built, scientists expected that its observations would validate the theory of the universe's origin. Unfortunately, within just one year in operation, the telescope astonished experts with its ability to peer so deeply into the past of the universe. The remarkable power of the JWST has revealed galaxies that date back to an era so ancient that it forces us to reconsider our current understanding of the universe's formation. This astonishing discovery has ignited a heated debate about what might have existed before the Big Bang. One breakthrough came when cosmologist Rohan Natu, working with data from the telescope, identified a galaxy from only a short time after the Big Bang, making it the most distant galaxy ever observed. This discovery sent shockwaves throughout the scientific community, underscoring the impressive capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope. The telescope's vast potential to change how we view the universe is only just beginning to unfold. It promises to unlock profound insights into the earliest moments of the universe's existence. This time period, which connects loosely with earlier cosmological theories, is crucial for understanding how the first stars and galaxies emerged. The discoveries made by the JWST have challenged conventional models, revealing galaxies with characteristics that surpass previous expectations. This influx of early galaxies has sparked a flurry of scientific investigation, pushing experts to reconcile these new revelations with existing theories. As researchers analyze these findings, they confront critical questions about the fundamental nature of the universe and the forces that guided its evolution. In addition to its exceptional scientific contributions, the JWST is strategically located 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, where it is shielded from interference and kept cool by a sun shield the size of a tennis court. This allows the telescope to observe the universe without the distortion of Earth's atmosphere. The JWST is equipped with a massive primary mirror and delicate instruments designed to capture unprecedented details of the early universe. This era, known as the Great Dawn, occurred between 200 and 300 million years after the Big Bang, when the first stars and galaxies began to form. The mechanisms behind this process are still an area of intense study, with various theories involving dark matter, dark energy, and the interplay between star-forming gas and dust. The telescope's ability to observe galaxies from this crucial period provides cosmologists with a unique opportunity to test their models of the early universe. By examining these ancient galaxies, scientists can either confirm the accuracy of their existing theories or discover new gaps in our knowledge that could lead to groundbreaking insights. At the outset, scientists anticipated that the JWST would uncover a few faint, small galaxies during its initial studies. However, the reality has far surpassed these expectations. The telescope's first images of the distant universe revealed a staggering number of galaxies, some with ages, sizes, and brightness levels that defy previous models. This unexpected surge of early galaxies has sparked a race among scientists to set new records for the earliest known massive systems. With new discoveries emerging constantly, even the most experienced astronomers have been left in awe. As the JWST continues to reveal more about these early galaxies, experts and the general public alike have become increasingly focused on their advanced characteristics. Some researchers have raised the possibility that the telescope's interpretation of large-scale observations might be responsible for some of these surprising findings. However, the general consensus remains that these revelations mark a paradigm shift in our understanding of the early universe, offering exciting possibilities for future discoveries. The new findings from the JWST have raised profound questions about the universe's nature, challenging the assumptions of traditional cosmological models. While some experts are investigating whether these discoveries can be reconciled with current theories, others suggest that they could be the first signs of a much more intricate and puzzling universe than previously imagined. The key question remains how the universe we know today emerged from the primordial chaos of its early stages. The JWST's early findings could revolutionize our understanding of the Big Bang and provide insights not just into distant galaxies and ancient structures, but also into the very nature of our own Milky Way galaxy. As Mark McFadden, senior scientist for science and exploration at the European Space Agency, has said, you build these machines not to confirm theories but to break them. 
you simply have no clue how it will break. The origins of the JWST can be traced back to 1985 at the Space Telescope Science Institute, STSCI, long before the Hubble Space Telescope was launched. At that time, G. Weir, then the head of STSCI, was tasked with conceptualizing what could follow Hubble. Despite initial doubts, Weir and a small team laid the groundwork for what would eventually become the James Webb Space Telescope. Unlike Hubble, which primarily observes visible light, the JWST was designed to observe in the infrared spectrum, enabling it to look deeper into the universe. This infrared capability is essential for studying distant galaxies whose light has been stretched into the infrared due to the expansion of the universe, making them invisible to telescopes like Hubble. The JWST became an essential tool for unlocking the mysteries of the Great Dawn. The need for such a telescope became evident in 1995 when the Hubble Deep Field observation revealed countless galaxies in a patch of sky once thought to be empty. This discovery underscored the richness of the early universe and highlighted the necessity for a telescope capable of probing further into the cosmos history. After years of development and an estimated cost of around $1 billion, the JWST was successfully launched on December 25, 2021. By July 2022, it was ready to begin its most critical year of scientific observations. Programs like the Early Release Science, ERS, and the General Observing Program were designed specifically to search for early galaxies. While initial expectations were modest, the results far exceeded these predictions. The JWST's observations have already challenged existing models of the early universe, revealing galaxies that defy conventional cosmological assumptions. These groundbreaking discoveries underscore the importance of pushing the limits of scientific exploration and demonstrate the remarkable capabilities of cutting-edge technologies like the James Webb Space Telescope. As scientists continue to analyze the data from the JWST, new insights may emerge that further challenge and broaden our understanding of the universe. When the first data began to arrive from the JWST, cosmologists eagerly awaited the results. Many had spent years preparing their data analysis systems for this moment. Instead of adhering to the traditional peer review process, which can take months, researchers opted to share their findings on preprint servers such as AR14, where papers can be publicly accessed before peer review. This approach allowed for rapid discussions among experts, particularly through online platforms like Twitter. Rohan Natu referred to this process as science by press release, and the subsequent wave of online conversation was both intense and unprecedented. However, concerns arose about the potential drawbacks of this rapid dissemination of findings. Claus Pontypool, a JWST project scientist at STSCI, noted that while the swift sharing of results facilitated quick distribution and discussion, it also posed the risk of overwhelming the scientific process. The accelerated spread of discoveries, especially in such a groundbreaking mission, presented challenges to traditional scientific methods.